Morning everybody, uh, Gary Porter again. I'm going to take you through this drawing. It's a little sloppy, but that's the way it is. Two pole transformers right here. These are the loads. This right here is a load voltage sensor. It controls a switch on the generator output. The generator output is from 120 to 140 volts, or maybe more, whatever, to maintain an, the radiation going into this 120 input on this first pole. Now there's no load back to the generator. It's all radiation. Once this thing, now the radiation is then transmitted from this antenna out 14,000 volts into this receiving antenna then the radiation cold electricity runs the loads. So as more loads are applied, the voltage will dip. This means I need to produce more radiation going into this input antenna. That way I got, then I'll switch to the next voltage level to ensure that this, this is regulated out here. Uh, this is the generator. I got a, let me see, I got a two inch pulley here. I'm going to change to an eight inch pulley here. And uh, this is a three phase, five hall connections controller, inverter. This right here is a micro start box used by wreckers to start cars. Uh, it's basically high farad capacitor storage for 12 volts. The generator I'm using is a Gen 154 that's been hacksawed off the gasoline engine and uh, in the previous video. This 12 volt regulator. The 12 volts comes out of here through a bridge rectifier. So this thing regulates 12, maintains 12 volts to the micro start, and use the battery to start this machine, and then hit this uh, double single pole double throw switch, and then take the battery away. So the whole thing is self running, and uh, it's regulated. And uh, so you you may see a very. It depends on how fast this circuit can switch will determine if you see dimming or whatever or just a small amount of change in the load voltage. So, and also you can put out here on the load if it's motors, you can use capacitors for power factor correction. That also can be switched in to each like the dryer motor, the wash machine, the AC uh, motors for the pump, water pump, anything that's a motor with coils in it can be power factor corrected with a capacitor. And uh, so that's it. Basically the whole system is pretty simple. Uh, once up and running with this, and I make sure everything is cool, then I'm going to tear the pole transformers apart and uh, learn the relationship between the plates and the coils in each one, and then remove this whole assembly that's in the bottom of this thing, because you don't need this massive can, and uh, you can put that in a much smaller container, and maybe even reduce the size of this entire system down to a or maybe a shoebox or something to run a light bulb remotely forever. So we shall see. Anyway, have a good day.